Okay, the purpose of this lesson is to uh, teach you how to add two-digit numbers um, using um, the carrying. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry, we're going to regroup the numbers and we're going to take them and uh, bring them to the uh, next column. So uh, as you can see though, we talked about probably earlier that there was a ones column over on this side and then there's a tens column over on this side. And so uh, as you can see in the ones column we have a three and a seven and we had in the tens column we have a two and a four. And we have our plus sign over here and I put this little box up here because we're going to actually have to regroup these numbers. We're going to have to take these numbers and put them over in the tens column because what's going to happen is we're going to add these, uh, this 3 and this 7. And this 3 and this 7 is going to be greater than 9. Anytime the number is greater than 9, we're going to have to carry it over to the next column. So 3 plus 7 equals 10, right? So we couldn't actually put 10 down here because that wouldn't be effective. We have to have only one number down here. So I'm going to put the one, I'm going to put the uh, zero down here, which will leave me needing to put the one over above uh, the 10 spot. And I'm going to put the one in the tens place here. So that uh, actually these two numbers make the number 10. These are uh, that zero, that one and that zero make that number 10. Now I've added the 3 plus the 7 in the ones column and then I've gotten 10. So I put my 0 here and I carried my 1. Now I have my 1 in the tens column and I'm going to go 1 plus 2 equals 3, right? So that would be 3 plus the 4 would be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 plus 4 or 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals 7. So I'm going to put my 7 over here on this side. And you can see that uh, now we have the answer to our problem would be 70. Okay, now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take another look at that again. We're going to do the same kind of problem that we just did over here on this side. I'm going to move over to the next uh, column. I'm going to show you again. We have our little dividing line here. That's our imaginary line. It's really not a real line. It's just a line to show us that, hey, you know, there is a ones column, a ones place over here on this side, and then there's a tens place over here. So we're going to go to the ones column first because we always start out with the ones column in adding. So we're going to go uh, nine plus six. Well, does anybody know what nine plus six is? Okay, uh, it's 15, you're right. So the number uh, 9 plus 6 is going to be equal to 15. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my 5 down here at, right up under the, uh, the number here, if it'll let me. Let me move it over here and see if I can get to it. Move over and put my 5 over here. And uh, yes, it would be, it's 15, but I'm going to only put my 1's, uh, my... Uh, five from my ones column here. I'm going to put my uh, one from my tens column here. Once again, we never we never put more than one number in that column. That would be wrong. So we don't do that. We actually take the one and put it over here above the tens column. Now, one plus three is four plus another one is five. So our answer is going to be 55. And you can see that that's very easy to do. Now over here, what I did is I actually took out the middle bar line so that you can see what I'm actually doing. I'm still leaving a box up here, but you know, the box won't even be in a real problem. A real problem would just have these two numbers here. Let's see. A plus three is what? A plus 3 is 11. So I'm going to put my 1 from my 11 in my 1's place. 11, 1 there. I'm going to take my 1 that I'm carrying and I'm going to put it up here. 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. And 5 plus 5 is um, 10. So I'm going to have two numbers here. 10, but actually I have the number that goes over into the hundreds column, but uh, you, get the, you get what I mean here. 